when you're looking for something and it's right there in front of you the whole time. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a swatch and review on the newest release from Natasha Denona and it is the Circo Loco palette. I just got this bad boy in from Beautylish and I used it to make this eye look today. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know what I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. I do have to address something that a couple of you have um, messaged me through Instagram about and was showing concerns. Yes, my right cheek is more swollen than my left cheek. Reason being is because I e either it's my wisdom tooth or I have a dental abscess in on the upper part of my mouth on the right side. I do have a dentist appointment on Thursday to figure out what it is that's going on. It hurts a little bit right now. It hurt like crazy last night. Um, but a couple of you did notice it in my last videos, my last two videos, that my right cheek was a little bit more puffier than my left cheek. Yes, that's what it is. I'm getting it taken care of, I promise. I mean, you can, yeah, I can totally see it. I didn't see it before, but now I do because I can see my smile line more on this side than on this side. But I wanted to let you guys know that I am getting it taken care of. So with that out of the way, now we can get into the main subject of this video today. And it is the newest release from Natasha Denona. It is her Circo Loco palette. I do have to say that slow because I was saying Circo Loco earlier when I was trying to pronounce it. So yeah. <laughs> um... I have a few things to say about this, plus I also show you guys how I make this look and swatches of this palette. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. All right, I have the Circo Loco palette here in front of me. Now, this is one of her more expensive palettes. It does retail for $129. And if you're thinking, oh my God, Melissa, why did you buy this? Because the last um, palette of hers that I bought that was that price range, was this bad boy right here and we all know that this one was not all that great at all so I was like Ugh. but I do have her love palette and I absolutely adore this palette this palette is really really good and even though it was half the price so when I saw this I wanted to give it a try because I do like the color scheme of it but I wasn't going to, I didn't really want to um, purchase it for that price, but I went on Beautylish, did the payment plan. So yeah, it's here for us now. <laughs> this is the outside carton of the palette. It has a gorgeous little design that, you know, teases the color scheme of the palette. And then it has all the ingredients of each shade listed individually on the back, which I think that's really neat. I've never really seen a brand do that. I think she does it for all of her palettes. So that's pretty awesome. It does say that it is preservative free, oil free, mineral oil free, D5 free, not tested on animals. That's always a good thing. Paraben and also paraben free. The, outs the outside of the palette looks like the unicarton, and then on the back it does have the holes where if you want to depan it, um, you just poke something through it and it pops out. Okay, as you can see, you get 15 shadows in this palette. You have one, two, three, four, five matte shades, one, two satin shades, and the rest are metallics. Now, when I was swatching, I did notice that Razzle Dazzle, Acrobat, Flip, Act, and Joker did stain my hand a little bit. So you are going to have to take that in consideration when putting them on your eyes. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't. I'm not sure if it says on here which ones are eye safe and which ones aren't. That is something that you're supposed to put on um, a palette whenever there's like a pressed pigment or whatnot that it's not intended for the eye air, immediate eye area because of the staining. 
So now that we've talked about the palette, let's get on into the application. Okay, I brought you guys in a little closer. Let's go ahead and get this eye look started. Um, we are using the Natasha Denona Circle Logo Palette. Um, these shades right here, Firework and Spiral, are calling at me the most. And I may use Canon as well. I think I just want to do an orange eye today. Simple as that. I may go into the Love Palette and use the shade first to blend everything out and I may use lifetime as well I'm not sure yet because there really isn't a lighter shimmer shade that I can use in this palette so I am kind of glad I do have this with me so let's go ahead and put down firework which is this matte shade right here and I will be using my BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush. Not too much kickback in the pan. There's a little bit, not a lot, which is good. Okay, she is a little sheer. On camera you can see it, but in in my mirror She's a little sheer, so I am going to have to build her up. Okay, doesn't look all that bad. It's rather bright, but hey, that's fine. I'm all for it. Um, it did take some blending out. Not too much, but some. It did take a little bit to blend out. But overall, I like the shade. It's nice and bright. It's fun. It's funky. So, yeah, I did end up using... Um, first in the love palette just to soften up the edges a little bit um, so yeah now I am going to go I'm actually going to go in with Canon this shade right here and I'm going to lay that down all over the lid and into my crease so let's go ahead and do that and I'm actually going to use my BH Cosmetics number no. six brush to do that I don't want to do it with my finger because I don't know how pigmented this is going to be so I'm going to start with a brush first okay this is a really like deep orange metallic shade it is really pretty okay that looks a little decent. It is very bright. <laughs> so I do want to kind of add a little bit of definition because I, I thought that Canon was going to be a little bit deeper, but it's not. It kind of matches. So I am actually going to go in the shade Joker right here. It may look like a bright pink, but it is more of like a magenta type pink. And I'm actually just going to place it lightly on the outer corner and into my crease. I don't want to use too much because I don't want to take away from the orange of this look as if I could. Okay, that's what I wanted. I just wanted it just to deepen up that crease a little bit. Okay, that did exactly what I wanted. I wanted just a little bit of definition on the outside and in the crease, not too much, because I didn't want that look to turn pink. I wanted to keep it orange. So now I'm gonna go into spiral right here and just kind of dab that in the middle because it is more of a bright satin metallic. And I'm actually just going to place it in the inner corner right here. All right, now I'm going to go into the Love palette and use the shade Lifetime just to lighten up the middle. There we go. Just to give a little bit of juice. Alrighty, now I am going to run the footage of the swatches of the rest of the shades in the Circo Loco palette, finish up my look, and I will be right back with my final thoughts.
Alrighty, those are the swatches and this is the final look that I made using the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. Okay, final thoughts. I, if you have palettes like this, I don't see you needing to go buy this, especially for the price tag because it is $129. Um, and I think that there are more inexpensive um, palettes out there on the market that have these shades that work just as good as Natasha Denona shadows do. I don't really see justifying the price for it, especially because the, the Love palette was what I do believe was only $69. Yes, you're getting more product in this palette, but it's the same quality in these two. So I don't really see that price increase of $129 from this. It is definitely leaps and bounds better than this disaster. But um, overall, it's, it's a great palette for summer for spring and summer. But it's just something I don't see that you absolutely need to have in your collection unless you're a Natasha Denona fan. If her shadows are all that you purchase. Um, or if you're just a, a collector in really high-end makeup. As I stated before, this palette does retail for $129. You can purchase it at Sephora, on Natasha Denona's website, and on Beautylish. I actually got it on Beautylish. I find that the shipping is faster when I purchase stuff on Beautylish as opposed to Sephora or the actual brand's website. So yeah, plus they have the payment plan, which is what I did. So I can show you guys this palette because I got a lot of requests for it. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, all the products that I use to make the rest of this look will be down in the description box as well. I love y'all so much and I will see y'all next time. Bye! My eyes are really, really bright. <laughs> All right, eat something. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the shape. <laughs> look is a lot brighter on the camera than what it is in person, actually. I think it's my lighting. Yeah. <laughs>